I started looking through Gonzaga's website and communications program came up and I was like, that's what I want to do. Um, this whole thing started by one story that I told about a man that I met and it changed people's lives and it was inspiring people and it was encouraging people and it was making me um, aware of things that I had the power to, to, to go out and make a positive change and stuff like that. So I was like, that's what I want to do. I want to get into communications because that could, that could lead to a lot of different things, you know, and, and, and giving backpacks is growing. So I was starting to meet with influential people in Spokane and so I'm like well communications there would help me speak better and, and, and get my point across and and try to understand other people's points of view god forbid you know and so um, that's what that's what I did and so I sat down and I applied for Gonzaga it was really neat to to go through the process so when I started I think I started the year that it was the smartest freshman class to ever start like they had like a three point eight or something like, like ridiculous and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not th at that level, but I've got uh, some life experience I can share, you know? And so it was really funny because I'm in a sea of 6,000 20 year olds and I literally knew one guy in his thirties on the entire campus. Whenever we saw each other, we just high five. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he graduated with me. So it was just really cool because we did it, you know? And, um, everyone was my children's age. I literally have children their age. And so I was protective. I was. I wanted to tell them what the world was really going to be like because they had some ideas of what they thought the world was going to be. And I was like, oh, you might want to rethink that because here's what happened to me. And um, I love when people re reach out to me and say, I always have had a problem with homeless people, but you've shown me over the last couple of years that it's not what I thought it was. And I'm actually starting to do something. I'm like, boom, that's all I wanted. <laughs> I get messages in, uh, and emails all the time from people saying, you've encouraged me to go back to school. And um, I, I have a few people that have literally sent me pictures of their, their school books and the, the, they're in school because of my story. And so that was another part that I, I was not expecting. I mean, I had so much other stuff going on and I was so happy with my life. But then to hear that my story encouraged other people to, to in their 30s and 40s and 50s to go back to school is just something that like, it's just icing on the cake. Like, wow, this is, I believe God gave me work to do, and uh, I feel honored to be out there doing the work. And um, you know, as much as I want to say it's me, it's not. I mean, it, it really is um, my faith, and just that I think that my 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 path was planned a long before I was even born. It's just I had to go through, through some things to figure it out, and uh, I'm glad that I figured it out before I left. You know, and uh, all I can do is um, wake up every day, and I I, I just try to do the best I can and help as many people as I can and, and uh, encourage and inspire people. And then I lay my head down and it's the best sleep I ever get because um, I had a lot of time in my life where I wasn't a bad person. I just didn't do anything. I just floated through this life for 40 years. I just floated around doing odd jobs and just not really tapping into my potential and knowing that I had a bigger purpose. And I want to, I love going out on the street and telling people, I was right where you were. Four years ago, I was sleeping outside just like you are, and I just walked across the stage at Gonzaga University. And uh, they look at me like, like a, a moment of clarity, like, wait a minute, so this might not be who I am as a person? Like, I can actually get out of this? And I'm like, yeah, you can do it, because I did it, so let me help you, you know? And that's a lot different than just saying, hey, go watch this TED Talk or read this book, you know? Like, I, I actually went through it, so I feel that, um, that what the way that I'm presenting it is is something that people can latch onto and say, okay, well maybe I can do it. You know?